Okay guys, today I'm gonna tint my car. Yes, yes, I haven't been, I haven't got time and I uh, wasn't free enough to actually do tinting on my car because I've been running everywhere and uh, today I'm gonna do it and I picked this guys, Glass Tech, because they have some really, really unique stuff going on. I'm gonna pick Omega this round. Why? It's mainly because they have some real, some new stuffs that hasn't been available in the market yet. The gist of it that I that I sort of get is this: the goal is to reject heat. The goal is to reject solar energy, and all these are in some form wavelengths in the light spectrum. Okay, so in in doing tinting, they actually have. A few methods either you absorb the heat or either you disperse or either you reflect different things will do uh, will serve different purposes the problems that i face personally right one of my car we have to cut a hole to allow my smart tech IR to pass through and yeah the film is good but when you have to resort to this method of uh, when it comes to daily usage it's not that good because it opens up a spot whereby uh, where it will start peeling it's gonna start from there definitely right uh, the other example that I mentioned they just go really really dark and then uh, in terms of visibility I don't feel that good, especially driving at night. In fact, I felt I thought my headlamp is it was was poor. The other one happened not to me, to Fan, right? Her car, yeah, you put the best tinting film, but when you when it affects your phone's GPS signal, you can't use Waze or Google Maps without opening your window. I I don't think that is a, a good balance. So what they have done, what they they, they told me is that there are films uh, have all these new technology that they are able to basically not use that many layers of films and which would result in blocking other signals and all that but they go to the nano side of things whereby they inject the chemical into the base film so they use less layers so when it's less layer you get better visibility so uh, certain films are so thick that there is a little bit of distortion when you look through the windscreen or when you look from the sides, here, there is a little bit of distortion. That is not something that uh, is good on day-to-day -day basis, right? I mean, you can be pursuing uh, heat rejection, but you, you don't throw everything else out of the window. Pun intended, right? You don't throw everything else out of the window, and then you sacrifice your, your, your sensor, your boom gates, or your uh, smart tag, and even your phone GPS. So this is, what, this is why I think um, their products uh, would be would be would be great and so far as what I know they are the first one right so uh, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna introduce you to somebody basically the person behind uh, glass tech all right and uh, his name is uh, Edmund so what is the main problem with uh, what we experience right okay. like uh, my 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 other car uh -huh. you have to cut a hole on yes. the windscreen okay and to me, that is a bit weird, lah, Because okay, uh, that Bobby, that when when you say you had to cut a hole on yeah. the windscreen, generally yeah. when uh, manufacturers produce film, yeah, they cannot control exactly which which wavelength that they are cutting off. Yeah. Okay. So what happens is, when they manufacture a film, there's a tolerance level. Okay. So happen if that tolerance level of the wavelength that they are rejecting, yeah, hits your infrared, your smart tech the wavelength, it's not going to go through because it's rejecting that. Yeah. It's rejecting that. So what we did was uh, to ensure that was a big enough tolerance level yeah. so we do not hinder onto the Asian uh, wavelength for mm. all these machines. Yeah. So we, we have uh, ascertained the wavelength in Singapore Thailand, China, all around Asia. Okay. And when, when we made this film with yeah. the manufacturer, yeah. uh, we specifically said to 
make the tolerance at that those wavelengths larger. Oh. Yeah. Then what about uh, those where their smartphones, the GPS signal was blocked out? It's the same thing. Uh, uh, uh. If, if you are going to use a Spectra Select film, yeah. which most people use due to our weather, yeah. um, the Spectra Select film does a beautiful job, the most beautiful actually, mm. if you want clarity yeah. and if you want heat performance, yeah. it's the highest. Yeah. But the problem with reflecting everything back in Mm. You, you create a bubble around you. Okay. You're creating that bubble around you in the car. Yeah. So what happens when your GPS that is not working is that the film that you're using yeah. is not letting the signal go out. It's reflecting it back in. So that means, actually there are a lot of films out there. Yes. When they sell to a customer, they only say that I reject heat, I reject heat, I reject heat. Yes. But... These are the other problems that we will you face will, day to yes, day, correct. but that they are willing to forego in yes. order to pursue ultimate heat rejection. Yes. But at the end of the day, it's, it's very troublesome. La. It's what you can live with. And it's something that you guys uh, decided to tackle on. Yes, correct. All right, um, all right. We, we make our films thinner. Yep. Um, contrary to popular belief, where mm. more layers is better, mm. because we, we look at look at it at, at like a safety issue mm. when you have a thick front windscreen yep. that is uh, multi-layered yep. you will have problems looking out not straight mm. you try looking up at a 45 degree angle yep. you're gonna have a lot of waviness distortion yes yep. Yep. and that yep. distortion you will feel giddy yep. if, if you keep on looking at it you will feel giddy because your, your, your vision is impaired that, that's why uh, that brand Oakley okay the sunglass they call it HD or something right HD it's optics it's exactly the same thing as what we're trying to do trying to make it thinner so it's uh, clearer clearer it's clearer mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so when we make it clearer yeah we settle the safety issue first yeah right yeah so what's what's the point of having the best heat rejection without the safety and other usability issues, yes. smartphone like correct, like. correct. Okay. This okay. is why uh, the Omega two point that you are using now, okay, is, it's not fully launched. Okay. Uh, basically, what we did was we pushed it out to select customers. Mm. Uh, they have tried it. Yeah. The feedback is really good. Okay. Uh, basically, they have uh, said that it is clearer. Mm. Um, it doesn't have distortion okay and the heat rejection is on par of of what they use mm. and these are all top tier customers okay yeah so basically what we have today is basically one of the only products like this in the market okay yeah oh it's called omega 2.0 yes all right yes all right uh basically we update most of our products we try to update it when new technologies come out mm. uh, we have to look at the benefits they pose for the Asian market. Yeah. Right? Uh, the, the thing with the, the sun, say, in northern China mm. and Malaysia is totally different. Ah. On what people feel. Because uh, we have humidity and they yeah. don't. Yeah. So for them, it's because it's a, a four-season country, mm. it's, it's always in morning sun. Mm. So to reject morning sun is not, not much of a big deal. Mm, mm, mm. They don't get evening sun okay. or afternoon sun. Okay. But for us, we do. It's scorching. Mm, and mm, plus mm. the level of humidity, we, we have to adapt. Okay. Yeah. okay. Nice. Okay. Thank you so much. Emma. Yeah, thank no you, problem. Thank you. No problem. So, uh, guys, there you have it. I think he can explain way, way, way better than I do, right? So, yeah, I hope uh, I'm going to give more feedback along, uh, along I mean, as, as I'm using it, all right, along the way. And uh, I think I did my survey well that uh, that's why I go, go, go for this. I mean, there are many, many brands out there. There are many, many ways to sell tinting films, all right? But at the end of the day, uh, remember this, it's not just 
to me. Uh, it's not just see there. Uh, you can. Uh, my colleague Fan Chia, she always does that with her with her arms. Sorry, not the left one, but the right one. So she always have to drive with the window slightly open, and she put her phone up like that. Uh, that's the only way she can get GPS signal, even though she spent top money for her tinting film, right? Um, yeah. So these are things that we might not know, and uh, I sort of knew today. Yeah. So. Moving on, I'm going to give you uh, guys some updates after I start using it and how I feel. Alright, cheers. Okay guys, so if you guys want to know more about uh, their products, uh, Alpha, Omega, Zeta and all that, you can head on to their website at blasttech.asia. Alright, so you can head on to their website and understand more. Uh, I think I did, I did my research long enough and um, yeah, I, it's nice because all I wanted is a good film that is comfortable, that doesn't give me all the necessary hassle, you know, uh, smart tech la, GPS signal, uh, you know, bad visibility. I don't want all those. I mean, yeah, we all want the heat rejection, yeah. But so far, I think it's the only uh, product that, after I did my research, uh, it's the only product that offers this. So they are not lying. They are not lying that they are the only one that has these uh, product benefits. Okay. So uh, what I know is that they have different ranges. You know, Omega, Alpha, and uh, Zeta, and Gamma. Right. Of course, the more high-tech the film is, the more expensive it is. Alright, so cheers. Can't wait for the progress. Alright.